Right, hello. I'm going to see whether this works this time. I don't know if something weird is going on with technology, but I'm really hoping people join me here live. Yay! Now I can see people. Oh! I think we're in business. Hey, Nikki! Hooray! Oh, I was really panicking then. Because nobody, I was thinking, am I live? Can anyone see me? Please uh, send me messages and say hello and send me likes and hearts so that I know you're here and watching. And I'm really sorry about that. Um, hi, Nina. Hi, Nikki. Oh, thank you. Thank goodness. Oh, Heather. Hello. Maru. Hello. Can you um, also put on your message? Just indulge me where you are in the world. Let me know where you are. I want to know where everyone's watching from. And are you sat on the sofa in your car? Are you at your kitchen table? I don't think you could see our messages, but we heard you, but now you're back. Yay. Hi, everyone. I'm on my fourth bottle of water winning winning I'm only on my third I'm going to be honest I'm on my third Kathleen all working fine thank you so much where are you in the world and have you been to the wee a lot today I bet you have have you been doing the wee test which is checking whether you need to drink any more and is your wee pal straw colour. Maru from Barcelona with water and an English tea. I love it. Nina Fleet, Heather Bath, doing my daughter's hair, multitasker. Nikki, I'm in Yardley, PA in the in America, just USA, just got back from my run and drinking water. Rosie is in the kitchen in Bath, sitting at the island. Love it. So let's just hope some more people join because I think there were more people on the last live and now I've cut them off and maybe I've lost them. Rosie's also had a glass of wine too. Don't worry, Rosie, you're staying hydrated with your water. And if you've had four bottles today, I think you're winning at the hydration game. Yes, I do. Really sorry that that happened with the Facebook Live. And you know me, when it comes to tech, I'm not the best. So I'm just really glad that we are back. We're here for day four. It's the last day of the free four-day challenge today. Just the free four day challenge, the last day. This isn't the last day of the challenge overall because on Monday there is the masterclass, which I will tell you about at the end. But how did you get on today? If you've just joined and you haven't said hello, say hello, send me a like. Hey Lisa, sorry that I cut everyone off and came back, but we're back. How did you get on today? Let me know in the comments. Have you been drinking water? How has it been? Have you started to feel like it's becoming more second nature? Is it becoming more of a habit already? Are you starting to not think about it quite as much? Let me know in the comments, please. I need to hear what's going on with this habit after four days of us building it, looking at the benefits, thinking of our why, and then yesterday we did habit stacking. Have all those things contributed to you not having to think about it quite so much? I want to know. Did you complete your task? On thread day three, I saw some amazing habit stacking ideas got me thinking. So a lot of you delved really deep into that thought process. So you thought about 
a reason and then you got deeper and you got deeper with the habit stacking and you started realizing other ways you could habit stack on top of a habit stack it was genius nikki definitely drinking more water and filling my container more often yes it's us being mindful about the habit it's about us identifying it and putting it at the top of our mindfulness and saying this is something i need to do why because it's for my health it's called self-care and we should all be doing that hey josie joe nice to see you say hello and tell us where you're watching from so as it is day four quick recap which we've just talked about now do you remember on day one i hope you've got your pad and your trusty pen to hand on day one we talked about three questions i asked you kate hello lovely to see you so three questions which were number one how are you feeling on a scale of one to ten with regards to your health how are you feeling on a scale of 1 to 10 with regards to your health? Now, 1 being absolutely crap, utterly haven't got a clue, feeling helpless, feeling really in the gutter with it. I need a lot of support. 10 being, I am nailing it, Steph. I'm on top of my game. So, you wrote down an answer on, on the first day, Monday. I want you to write down on a scale of 1 to 10. Today, how are you feeling with regards to your health? On a scale of 1 to 10. Send me a little like when you've done it. So I can see, ping, 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 to see how many people have answered that question. Kate, watching at home with my daughter. Yes, already carried my water bottle with me, but we're all carrying my water bottle ever with me. I know it definitely makes me feel better. Brilliant. Andrea, yes, I can see your posts. Lovely. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how are you feeling about your focus and vision? Remember we talked about this. Have you a clear focus and a clear vision of where you want to be in regards to your health? This is what we're talking about, your health and wellness. Your health and wellness encompasses everything about your being with sleep with energy with self-belief with confidence with strength with exercise with getting your steps in with your nutrition with your water the whole shebang that's what we're talking about on a scale of one to ten how are you feeling today about your focus and your vision with regards to your health send me a like when you've answered that one Hey, Cathy, and hey, Ness. I'm glad you're here. And I'm sorry I cut everyone off before. <laughs> so, have you all answered that one? Yes. So, we've done. How are you feeling on a scale of 1 to 10 about your health, about your focus and vision with regards to your health? And the last one is your energy levels. How are you feeling today on a scale of 1 to 10 in terms of your energy is exactly the same time except it's thursday that we ask these questions on monday give or take five ten minutes so how are you feeling on a scale of one to ten regarding your energy okay if everyone's answered that i want you now to think what and how has drinking water over the past four days contributed to the answers you've given right below let me know have your answers improved have they gone down have they stayed the same comment below and let me know let's chat about this this is really relevant remember when we started this challenge i said to you that building this habit will be a knock-on effect for a lot of other areas of your life it won't just be about being hydrated. Drinking water is a huge, huge beneficial positive that you can add to your life and your existence. And it will really contribute to so many things. Improved. Brilliant. 
Nina improved? Yes. So let me know, have they all improved? Have some not? Is identifying this, has it made you more mindful? So on the answers to your questions, Nikki, numbers stayed the same, but made me more consistent. Brilliant. Kathy definitely improved a bit. It's about believing I can stick at something. Yes, and a lot of that's accountability as well with us being in a group together, which is great because we're all supporting one another. Astral, they've improved, definitely have more energy and feel motivated. Ness, improved, especially energy. Amazing, keep them coming guys. Rosie, my answers have improved. I am more determined with my fitness too. Have done two workouts today. Really thinking, I have to get this C more because I can't ever tap it. Let me try and tap into that. I can't see the end. I'm really thinking about what I am putting in my body too. Yes, that is a positive effect of water. It happens to me as well. Kate, gone from a seven to an eight would feel even better if I could fit in a couple of run classes and stay asleep all night. Okay, that's another habit. Two habits you can build. Andrew, I feel better about my focus on moving towards my goals. Yes, positive energy. Lisa, two out of three improved. Feel I have more energy. Brilliant. Okay, good. Kathleen, my three-day migraine has gone, finally. But in general, not improved. Still not worked out and put on weight. Okay, don't dwell on the weight thing. The weight thing is a whole nother stratosphere okay i'm gonna do more free challenges over the next 12 months and i will do one to do with nutrition it's a massive passion of mine it's something i focus on a lot with my clients so if you carry on drinking water and keep this as a habit i guarantee it will have a positive effect on weight loss i'm not saying you're going to go from a size 12 to a size 8 or a size 16 to a size 14 or a size 20 to a size 16. No, you might, I don't know, but it would take more than drinking water to do that. We know scientifically it's calories in, calories out, but we're not going to go down that road tonight. However, the positive effects of water will help 100%. Astral, it's like I feel cleaner. I totally get that. Brilliant. So, Think about what your standout noticeable change has been. A lot of you have written it there. A lot of you are saying energy. A lot of you are saying more focus, more clearer vision. It's so true. It does give you that. I did a post on social today. I don't know whether you saw it, saw it saying one of the benefits, clearer focus, more energy. It's totally how I feel. I feel much more buzzed and ready to get on with my day when I've drunk water the day before. And somebody else said earlier, can you see the positive effects within 24 hours? You can see the positive effects within eight hours. If you get up in the morning and start drinking water, by midway through the afternoon, you are going to feel the benefits of water. That's a fact. You really, really will. So yes, you can see the benefits very quickly. So I want to talk to you about the next four days because the masterclass is on Monday. So you've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday to get through and Monday day, okay? On Monday evening at eight o'clock, I might do it a little bit early. I think eight o'clock, eight o'clock, it's the masterclass, okay? No, I might do the masterclass at seven o'clock on Monday actually, because it's an hour long. Well, it's 40 minutes with q and A, so it might be 40 minutes long, it might be. So we'll, I think we'll say seven o'clock on Monday. I hope people can join for that. Seven. If you can't, let me know on the group because I'd rather cater around however many people can come. So it'll either be seven, 7.30 or eight. On Monday. So we need to still focus on this habit for the next four days. We need to have a uh, strategy in place that we don't go off kilter and a lot of the reason people fall off the wagon with any habit is the weekend it has to be spoken about it's so true over 12 years of coaching and training women it's the biggest thing i hear all the time apart from the word i hate which is procrastination I hate that word because I don't believe in it. But that's another subject too. But the biggest...
this thing I hear is the weekends, the weekend stuff, the weekends. Now, what I urge you to do, and it's going to be hard, this is another thing where it's not so much a habit, it's training your mind to think differently. Weekends are still days. Weekends are exactly the same as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in terms of the length of the day, the hours in it, and the, what you are able to do with it. Just because you're not working and in a routine that you're forced into, if you don't work at weekends, the biggest way we self-sabotage is we go, yay, it's the weekend, I'm going to let my hair down. And this is the problem lots of people come up against. I'm not going to get too deep into it because I'll talk more about it on the masterclass. But really it's about thinking about it like going, I'm self-sabotaging myself if I do that. It's not saying, don't enjoy yourself, don't eat an ice cream, don't have a glass of wine, don't, you know, go and let your hair down at a party and have a late night. Of course you do all those things, but it's about balance. If you let everything go at the weekend and go, oh, bugger, it's the weekend, I won't bother drinking water, what was the point of the last four days? You, that is just self-sabotage. And the frustrating thing is that when people, People go into that cycle, all they're doing is going six steps forward, eight steps back, six steps forward, eight steps back, or four steps forward, five steps back. And that is literally what happens with every habit you build. Remember what we spoke about yesterday, a habit is something you don't think about anymore. So building it for four days is not long enough for you to not think about it. So this weekend, you're going to still need to think about it. And I guarantee... If for three weeks you think about it, on the fourth weekend, you won't think about it. I 99% guarantee that you will just do it. So that's three weeks out of your life and that's three weekends out of your life. And is drinking water a hardship? No. Is there any negatives to it? No. So that's my... You know me, if you know me well, you know, I don't mince my words when it comes to getting people results because I know what works and I also know that if you stick to simple strategies, it works. Don't overcomplicate it and just go, it's Saturday, I'm going out, I'm out with my friends, even if you're going to the pub. Every drink, have a pint of water. I know you'll go to the loo a lot, but it will make you think about how much alcohol you're drinking as well if you do drink alcohol. If you're going out with your friends for lunch, get a big jug of water. Instead of having a coffee afterwards, leave the coffee, have some water, or have a coffee and a water. Just start thinking about how you can build the water into your weekend. So this is what I want you to think about. Plan now. What are you doing this weekend? You probably have a rough idea. If you don't, that's fine. You can just wing it through and build the habit and the stacking into your weekend and think very carefully today and tomorrow what am I doing and how can I build the water into that day all the things I just said about your social life what you're doing where you're taking your children are you camping are you here there and everywhere build the water into it now start thinking about it now okay that's how we build a habit after three weeks you won't have to do that you won't have to every Friday go, oh dear, I'm going away. Oh shit, how am I going to get water in? You'll just do it. If somebody said to you, you can't clean your teeth this weekend, what would you think? Crazy. You'd think, it's mad. So you don't stop cleaning your teeth at the weekend, so why would you stop drinking water? And that's all I'm going to say on it. So I want you to plan and think ahead and do not let... The habit that you have worked so hard on for four days go by the wayside just because it's the weekend. And on Monday at the Masterclass, I want to hear about your weekend and that you've stayed on the ball drinking water and how brilliant you feel. Because every day, if you stick to this water, you're just going to feel better and better and better. You're going to have plumper skin. Your eyes are going to be clearer. You're going to have less wrinkles. You're going to feel more energised. You're going to sleep better. You're going to have less achy joints. You're going to have better digestion. It's a, a, it's a appetite suppressant. All of the benefits we talked about, which I quickly rushed through, 
you're going to still feel them. Okay, so win-win for the weekend. So we're going to introduce some positives to enforce this habit and we're going to attach some good things to it now. So I just want to, you to think about a few, we're nearly done, but I want you to think about a few things where you can just nail down this habit now. Okay, I've written some down. We talked about the vessel you drink from. You can get a new water bottle this weekend. You can get a glass. You can get plastic straws, colourful ones. You could get a new coaster for your office table. You could download the water app Gulp to keep you on track. You can habit stack against your weekend. Think about it now and plan. You can set reminders on your phone alarms. You could set reminders to go off every two hours with a bleep or in your Google calendar or whatever calendar you use to say drink water. We've all got a phone. If you haven't, congratulations. I need to know how you manage that. <laughs> Swap out coffee for water. We just spoke about that. Remember your why. Don't lose sight of it. I looked on number two thread. They're brilliant. Don't forget your why. Check in on the Facebook group every day. I'll be on the Facebook group over the weekend. I want you to check in and let me know how you're doing, where you are this weekend. Are you drinking water? Let me know. Post some selfies, post some pictures. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, stay connected. A lot of the reason we have success with these things is we're in a group. We're supporting one another. We're learning from one another. So stay on that path for this weekend and if you're going on your socials tag me tag my challenge please because I really want more people to hear about this challenge frazzled to fearless free challenge I will put it on the bottom of this and I'll also put it in the thread frazzled to fearless free challenge because the more people that come on the more people we've got to support one another so that's another win so I'm going to leave you soon because I've been wittering on. But actually, I've done quite well. I think I've sped up with my talking tonight because I tried to get everything in. And I appreciate that I cut you off and then came back on. So I'm really sorry about that. But I want you, for your homework this week, to go onto the thread, which will say Day 4 Challenge Thread. Please write your homework work and I'll do a nice little gif of something you don't know what we had a dog today didn't we I love dogs but this week you're going to write a post on the thread and describe your journey I just want you to describe your journey from day one to day four in one sentence two sentences ten sentences I don't mind how long it takes you or how quick it takes you to describe it I want you to be honest. I just want you to put, in simple terms, made me feel blah, or wow, I never realised this, or when I started this, I felt this. And I want you to write, so write down these things and I'll put it on the thread. How it's made you feel, the benefits, the outcome for you, and what it's taught you. That's it. I just want to see your journey from your perspective for the last four days. Is that clear as mud? Hi, Annette. You can watch on Catch Up. It's lovely to see you. Is that clear as mud, guys? And do you have any questions? Hi, Sarah. Nice that you could join us. Ness is going camping this weekend. I've got a lovely weekend planned and I cannot wait relaxing I am relaxing because I've been working like a demon this week but I've enjoyed it Kathy let me just read these because I didn't read these Kate skin feels better the more water you drink too a reflection of your health so true so so true I just sleep so much better when I drink water Kathy like astral I feel cleaner I can't find time or have the room to drink so much caffeine it's a win caffeine has that negative effect on me I love coffee I'm 
I'm a bit of an addict with it, but I'm a real coffee snob, so I can only have certain coffees. Otherwise, I'd rather not have coffee. So um, if I have more than two big coffees in a day, I start getting wired and I actually feel, you know that feeling when you're overtired and you can't relax? It's because I'm hyped up on the caffeine. And then it has a negative effect on me. It drains me completely. And I totally agree. If you're drinking more water, it takes away the feel, feeling or need or desire for, for coffee for me much, much, much more. Kate, I didn't post yesterday because I couldn't find the thread. Guys, if you can't find the thread, send me a message. The thread, you can catch up, Kate. You can basically, if you haven't done any of the thread homeworks, all of the threads are pinned on the top of this group. If you go to the Healthy Habit Hat Club and you look at the top and it will say recent posts and you scroll along, all of them in capitals will say thread day one, challenge day one, challenge day two, thread, challenge day three, thread. And all of them will have a GIF like image with homework or do your homework or something like that on. If you can't find them, let me know because I want you to be able to enter in to win the prizes. And unless you've done all four homeworks, you're, you can't win a prize. And I'm, I'm going to be telling you the prizes and the winners on Monday. I cannot wait. Um, and on Monday at the Masterclass, I'm going to talk to you about the three main reasons you're stuck in a rut with building healthy habits and how to overcome it. So I'm going to give you the three main reasons why people get stuck in a rut with this and don't move forward and make them sustainable. So it's going to be good. It's going to cement everything and finish it all nicely like a parcel wrapped up with a bow. And then you're going to feel strong and empowered to attach everything you've learned to any habit you want. Any habit. Does that sound good? Are you going to be here on Monday? And don't forget, let me know if a specific time is better for you. But I'm thinking, because it's 40 minutes to an hour, maybe 7 o'clock or 7.30 would be good. Nikki, all clear, speak soon. Having a great weekend. Working in Las Vegas from tomorrow. Going to hard to keep up the habit, but I'm determined don't give up. Viva Las Vegas. Don't get me singing. Viva Las... That was Elvis and I love him. Nikki, I will try to be with you on Monday. Lovely. I know it's bank holiday and I'm working. Get me. But there's no time like a bank holiday and ready to start on the Tuesday morning for a masterclass to nail this challenge. And that's why I would have done it on the Sunday, but because it's bank holiday, I'm doing it on the bank holiday Monday. 7.30 is good. If you're watching now and you've just joined live, you can catch up. I'm gonna post this video on the top of the page. You can catch up. Don't forget to do your thread. Don't forget to do your homework. Thank you so much for joining and I will see you on Monday. Lots of love, everybody. Keep letting me know what time below and I'll check in.